welcome to Abstract Boss. Today I am going to walk you through the makings of my mosaic ocean pour. It is very different and super unique, so I'm extremely excited to show you how I did it and to walk you through the process. <laughs> On day one, I started out by mixing a little bit of resin with a lot of sand. So I'm just going to kind of create the beach part of my fish and then I'm just going to let that cure completely before I move on to my next step. Day two, I took all of the blue pieces from my bucket of awesomeness. If you don't know what that is, then make sure you go check out this video here where I talk about my mosaic turtle. And anyways, I took out the blue resin skins from my bucket of awesomeness and I just cut them into a bunch of triangles and fit them onto the fishtail however I could. After I was done cutting them, I went ahead and glued each individual piece and then I started to work my way in between each of those pieces with the glue. And I'm trying to do somewhat of an ombre effect with the blue glitter. So kind of like blending it up towards the sand. I did white where I wanted to do the waves. In hindsight, that did not turn out to be a good idea. It was a, a good idea at the time until I realized when I did the waves later that it was horrible <laughs> but I do think that I did the blending extremely well I'm very happy with that part and after I'm done with all that you just want to make sure that you do a very thin layer of resin to seal in all that glitter because there will be a lot of glitter floaters and you don't want that to happen during the waves so when you're doing an ocean pour since everything else is done the sand the mosaic underneath all that good stuff all you have to do is have clear and then you're just going to have the tiniest little bit of white. The white I am intending to put right over top of where I did the white glitter. And I completely forgot to level out where my piece was going to sit. I was not worried about my workstation because I moved my pieces into a curing area and I did not level that out. So unfortunately, it had a lot of issues. I ended up sanding it all down and redoing another ocean pour. I am using the Counterculture Armor Art and I think it is super beautiful. I spritz it with a little bit of alcohol and it creates the most beautiful ocean cells. And you will get to see that here in just a moment. Had the art not moved anymore, I would have been happy with this but it definitely blended together a lot and I lost a lot of the cells that happened from the white. And that is why I went ahead and I took all the tape off, I sanded it down and tried to get rid of as much of that top layer of white as possible, but my hands got tired of sanding and I decided that it'll be okay to have a little bit underneath, just as long as it doesn't completely take away from the blue mosaic. 